given the following graph. Letter A, evaluate f of zero. So remember, usually when we write function notation, we usually have something like this, where f of x is equal to, you know, whatever, whatever the mathematical function is, you know, 2x plus 5 minus 8, you know, yeah, whatever. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So basically, we can reorganize this, right, to kind of mean that f of x is really the same thing as kind of saying y. All right, that's your little tip down here. Think of f of, f of x as saying y. All right, so y is really equal to 2x plus 5, you know, minus 8. Obviously, I can combine these terms. Now, in terms of then interpreting what they're asking for here when they say evaluate f of 0, I want you to think about this under the memorize this section, okay? You want to consider when they ask you to evaluate f of zero as find the value of y when x is zero, right? Remember what goes in this bracket or in these parentheses, x, right? So they're telling you what x is here. They're telling you x is zero. So basically all we have to do here for letter A is gonna to be to plug zero in for x, right? If in terms of my equation, so this would be two times zero plus five, you know, oops, plus five minus eight. Right, and obviously we would get a value here. Now this is not the answer, but I'm just giving you an example uh, algebraically. Uh, the answer here would be negative three. Okay, that is not the answer though for the question, all right? But if you had to uh, plug it into, in terms of a, a of a actual algebraic equation, this is how you would do it. In terms of the graph, it's the same idea, right? Find where x is zero. So where is x zero? Well, right here at the origin, right? x is zero at the origin. And this whole vertical line down the origin represents where x is equal to zero. Okay, this vertical line is where x is equal to zero. And find the location in which this vertical line at x is equal to zero intersects your graph. And this intersection point, whatever the y value is at that intersection point, will be the y value of f of zero. That's your answer, right? So I'm actually gonna draw a horizontal line. And this horizontal line represents now y equaling 1, because that's what the graph basically tells me. So right here, when x is 0, y is 1, okay? So to answer letter A, all right, and I'm actually just going to erase all this because I don't want you to get confused with the work. I'm just giving you an example, all right? So when, uh, so for letter A here, uh, f of 0 is then equal to 1, okay? That would be the answer. This is the y value, 1. So then for letter, uh, let's take a look at now letter B. <clears throat> so letter B here is now going to be solve for f of x uh, equal to negative 3. So in terms of how to interpret that, look at the bottom. I want you to reinterpret solve for f of x equaling 3 as find the value of x when y is equal to negative 3. Okay? So I realize I didn't need a parenthesis down here or a quotation actually. Hold on one second. Why isn't it letting me? There we go. Okay, that's a little better. Sorry about that, little aside. Okay, so now um, we're gonna reinterpret that as saying find the value of x when y is negative three. So now let's go to the graph. Let's locate where y is negative three. So here's negative three for y and you can draw a horizontal line, okay? That line represents when y is equal to negative three. Now, what points, at what points does this horizontal line intersect your graph? Well, actually in two points, right? It intersects it here, and it intersects it here as well. And therefore, if I had to, those would be my x values, right? I could draw two horizontal lines now, one there and one here. And I realize that they both intersect the graph at these two locations. Whoops. Come on. And therefore, x can take on two values here x can be either negative 2, right, that's what it told me over here, or x could be then positive 2. All right, so that's the answer for then letter B. All right, so we could say now that our x value, find the, yep, so then, so x here would equal negative 2, and x would also equal 2. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.